Hey guys, how's it going? Dan Francis Owen here, Real Life Gig Advice. Hope you're all doing well. Um, another another video from, from the Maldives, still here. Um, just been prepping for the gig tonight and I, a couple of things just came to mind and um, and obviously a couple of things I've, in conversations with um, all my musician friends and colleagues who I'm working with at the minute over um, over dinners and, and drinks and stuff like that. Check it out, by the way. Incredible. So, um, oh. After you, no problems. So we um, we were chatting about something which I thought would be really useful to, to talk to you guys about, and that's about handling your mistakes. Because the thing is, you know, mistakes are going to happen. You know, you're going to make mistakes on gigs. Um, you know, even if it's just like a little fluff, or if it's like a total, like if it's a total humdinger. You know. Um, it's a big topic, but these these things are going to happen, and you've just got to get yourself in the right mind frame, and it, it's it's kind of how you handle it, really, which is which is the important bit. Um, the way I, the way I handle it, you know, yeah, I, I do make mistakes from time to time. You know, I do my best to like practice and um, you know iron out any any creases in my playing, like in my technique, um, which which can diminish the the uh, how would you say not the repeatedness but the the frequency of mistakes but you know you're human it's gonna happen so really like you might if you make it you make a mistake you've just got to hold your hands up and, and, and laugh it off and you've just got to carry on and um, uh, and just make sure that you that you do your thing to diminish that mistake and and handle it in the best way that you can so you can carry on and have a great gig and um, just make the rest of the rest of the gig song or performance or whatever feel great um, because if you start you know kind of like throwing your you know if you start beating yourself up about it it's not going to be a good vibe for anybody on stage in the band and it's definitely not going to be a good vibe for anybody uh, it's, it's just not going to be a, a good vibe, but I'm here with some of the guys. Hey, what's going on, Jay? Hey! <laughs> Jay, you're on my YouTube, mate. <laughs> There's so many things happening here. <laughs> so, yeah, we're on the hang. So, I'm here with my mate. We've got 7% to do this, Ken's. Right. So, so, I've just been talking about the way you handle your mistakes and how like you can do things to diminish by the way this is Kenji Fenton hey how you doing? saxophone extraordinaire <laughs> killing it um so yeah we've been yeah. chatting about handling your mistakes and basically what you can do to diminish the frequency of mistakes uh -huh. but really we're only human so think mistakes are going to happen yeah yeah you know and I just said to the guys like Basically, you've just got to be confident enough within your ability to kind of laugh it off and just keep going forward so that the rest of the performance or the tune is as good as it can be. Because if you if you hold on to it, it's just going to make you a nervous wreck and make the band a nervous wreck. Absolutely. Like when you make a mistake, when you make a mistake, and you sort of it's natural for everybody to want to beat themselves up about yeah. the mistake but yeah. the time that you're spending beating yourself up about the mistake if you're still playing you're not yeah. concentrating on what you're doing exactly the moral come exactly yeah. <laughs> so basically I, I like to think about it a bit like the generation game yeah, you know like yeah, that yeah. conveyor belt all the yeah. notes are going on a conveyor belt and you'll hit some and you'll miss some yeah. but it's very important to stay in the present because do you know what I mean I think yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. really important exactly and also for me another big thing is uh, Nobody learns anything without making mistakes. That's how you learn. Exactly. Everybody learns yeah. from making mistakes. So it's all about being prepared to make mistakes, being yeah. brave enough to make mistakes, but also but being confident enough that you'll learn from them. Yeah. As long, as, like, you only make, as long as you only make the same mistake once, you're good. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. It's like that in life as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, you could take it all the way back to like babies walking. They don't give up, do they? No. And if you're learning a new language. Absolutely. There's you... no way you can learn walking without falling down. Exactly. There's no way. There's no way you can. And you've got to be able to like expect with the language thing, because I know you and I, we've mm. spent time learning different languages. You more successfully than me. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> keep you posted. 
but yeah you've you've got sometimes you've got to you just got to go into the deep end into the danger mm, zone so you, so you can feel like you can um so basically it just makes you stronger doesn't definitely. it definitely and you it's know. hard like it is very hard i've got one percent by the way it's very difficult to take criticism it's very hard it is to, yeah it's that's another hard, video but it's necessary so yeah be comfortable to make mistakes because that's the way that you move forward know that you'll be moving forward yeah and make sure that you do move, move forward <laughs> exactly right guys nice one see you next time all right cheers man nice one guys